In this video, we're going to be looking at the advantages of using the non-CNC panel optimization as opposed to standard cut list. We're going to start with a basic room layout, so we have some cabinets. Take a look at it here in 3D, get an idea of what we're working with. Now, if you don't have CNC or you're not optimizing um, via the software, you most likely are using your report center and getting cut lists from there to calculate your panel optimization or the cutting of your panels. When using the panel stock cut list at a table saw or manual saw, you have the possibility of error by the operator in calculating the use of material and the optimization of the panels, not to mention the time spent in doing this calculation. Now, let's take a look at the same job, but taking the cut list directly to the Screen to Machine Center. So I'm going to select the Screen to Machine Center, and what is going to happen is it's going to bring all of the parts and pieces that are in this job into the S2M Center so that we can optimize the panels. So as you can see here, we now have all of the parts and pieces set up to output through our optimization saw. I'm going to click on Optimize and run the optimization. At this point it calculates all of the cuts that are needed. If I look here I've got seven sheets of this material, 13 sheets of this, etc. I'm going to open this one up and take a quick look. We'll render it so we can get a better look at it. You can see now that all of my cuts have been um, laid out for me with all of the different parts. The red over here is indicating waste material. I'm going to go through until I find one that is showing some green, hopefully. And here we have some green, which is material I'm going to be saving. This is what we call offcuts. At this point, I could update the offcut so on my next job I could use these pieces again at a future date. Here we see a standard printout that would be given to your saw operator showing each optimized panel as well as the type of material down at the lower left and the size of the material as well as the job name and date. You'll notice that you have the saw set up in phases Phase 1, Phase 2, and Phase 3. The sawyer can tell here exactly what to set the saw at and to cut, and then he has his cross cuts and then the next cut after that. Each part is labeled as to what the part is, its finished size, which cabinet it goes to, and which room number it belongs to. As you can see from this, it makes it very quick and simple and very accurate for the sawyer to cut exactly what is needed and not having to spend any time whatsoever in calculating his material use. Now let's return back to the parts list and see some of the features that are in the optimization software. First of all you have all of your parts listed as we mentioned before. You can sort them by using the sorting buttons by description by sizes, by cabinet number, or by material. And you can select certain pieces that you may want to output by holding down the control key, selecting certain pieces, or the shift key and grabbing groups. Also, we have built-in filtering. You'll notice over here in the radio button that you will have filtering by room, if you have multiple rooms, which cabinets you want to output. Also, if you have multiple jobs, you can also filter by a particular material or by certain parts or other types of optimization filtering. Let's just say we want to output um, only one particular material at this point. We could select this one and say OK. And you will notice that the material has been selected. And when I optimize, only this material will be output.
Let's go back again and look at some other filtering. Let's say we want to filter um, just certain cabinets to be output. We could select two or three cabinets that needed to be output at this particular time and do it this way. You can notice that it's grabbed certain cabinets to be output. You could also filter just by particular parts, which might be common if you want to, to maybe even get better optimization by selecting just certain parts like your finished ends of your cabinets and just output those pieces. Let's find some. I'm sure they've been pulled out. and Notice they've been selected individually and then optimize. You have optimized parameters to set to either rip or cross cut first, priority for yield or labor, and also you can eliminate third phase cuts or T cuts and set the quality of your optimization. You can have restrictions for minimum sizes that you want to deal with as well as the size of your trim around the part and then your off cuts. What are you going to keep and what are you not going to keep? Other information such as your saw curve and this type of information is set up under your utilities tab. Let's take a look now at using offcuts that have been saved from previous jobs. I'm going to click here and select add offcuts and then run the optimization on the same job. Now when we take a look at it, Let's go to the last panel. You'll notice that it's using a piece of offcut from the previous job. Let's look in here and see if we can't find some more. This is another one but using offcuts. This one is certainly using offcuts as well. So you can see it's doing a very good job of picking up the uh, waste pieces that have been saved from previous jobs and using them in your optimization.